The shoe's got tick in her ear here. It looks like she might have two, a male and a female, which is not uncommon. So uh, got her tweezers. This is not my standard pick tickers, but uh, they'll work. We'll get in there. I'll do the best I can to get the recorded. The sheep don't stand still, especially when you're by yourself. They do have a mind of their own. Get up here and inspect inside the steer. I'll show you where the ticks are hiding. There's a couple of them here, it looks like. Know for sure when we got actually get into it. There it is. So you're gonna be pretty sore. Get in here and look the best we can. You can barely see it. Now she wants to move. See it hidden down in there. This is a tender ear. So the tick's been there for a little bit. This one's, when they get down in there, it's easily kind of missed. It looks like there's gonna be, hold still, honey. Off camera, I might be taking a look here. Looks like two, male and female. Let's see if I can get it recorded here. All right, I ended up reaching in, pulling it out. There's the first one. Covering earwax. We'll get on to the second one. It's not uncommon for the ticks to be all down in here in the same grouping. And they are. You got two people, it helps out a lot because this is a tender ear. There's one of the other ones. We'll do one more. Looks like there's a third one. So there's two males and a female. I just happened to reach in looking around and there's the other, the tick. Anyhow, there's the other tick. Take care of this one. Look for a little more. There might be four in this here, but I think I got all three. That's it. There was just three of them in there and just gotta kind of go like this and look down in with the light. It's really hard to get that camera in there, especially by myself. And you gotta pick at them. Sometimes like with these vinyl gloves, it worked real well. They're pretty durable. I can get in there and the ticks were so engorged and there was a lot of earwax and stuff. They really weren't adhered real well. I was able to just pop them out and I got the tweezers and got that one out. So everybody's loose, all the ticks are out. Sheep are ready to go on pasture. Hey, thanks for watching and uh, hope that helps you get ticks out of the ears of your animal. I'd like to show you how nasty ticks really are. Uh, it's not a sliced almond, it's the big tick we picked off earlier in the video. I just rolled it flat and got the blood out of it. But take some hydrogen peroxide, which hydrogen peroxide acts with the, uh, the body of the bacteria and breaks it down and it ruptures and that's how you get the foaming action look at this you want to see how nasty ticks are look at that that's why you got to wear the gloves my first video i didn't uh, don't ask me why i just didn't i was but i'll admit it i did i should have worn a pair of gloves because this is this could be pathogens bacteria other stuff that's that these ticks carry nasty little critters look at that that bubble just popped so uh make sure you wear your gloves because like you saw when we did this, blood was kind of coming out everywhere. So um, you don't want to get that exchange. Like, especially me, I've got a, a cut on my finger. Got a cut on my finger right there, and that's a good entry path for uh, infection. So there's that nasty tick swimming in a pool of hydroperoxide and continually making fizz. That's how dirty that, that's where the blood came from, the tick's body. And this sucker's just, these are dirty little critters. That's why we want to make sure and get them off or use tick repellents. Um, I don't know where you're at, so there's different things available in different places. If you, uh, anyways, if you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe like everybody else asks, but uh, I do appreciate it. Take care.